But I don't know, man. Like, what, what do you what, what do you think, Jason? Because like, um, I, I, I saw a video about Tower of recently, and I it's kind of given me second thoughts. I think of just... I saw the one you're talking about. Hmm. I think I saw the one you're talking about. Yeah, like I saw that video, and it kind of gave me second thoughts because I didn't think it's as clear cut as just him being an uh, idiot. Like we're thinking things from an outside perspective. We didn't really think things like from the in universe perspective. Yeah, just say. Like, Xehanort is like, the bad guy, so, it, it, I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know, like, it being a bit unfair. It's like, like, I was like, oh, I would have done this, but here's the thing, like, what would you, you would have done with Terra's mindset? Yeah. Like, he's clearly frustrated over lo after, after losing, after failing the exam, and he, he, and he didn't know about Xehanort's, uh, like, intentions, and even if it's like, oh, obviously evil, that's more so to us. He's obviously evil. Yeah, because we, we know in advance through the other games what, what he's done. So we've been advancing in the other game, in, in three other games, and plus the tropes that make him obviously evil. Yeah, but like that that's just like general storytelling. Like, you could say yeah, that yeah. for like uh, Star Wars as well, oh, Palpatine's the bad guy, but no one's gonna know that. Yeah, like, I actually did, but uh, actually, for, uh, until episode 3, I didn't think, I didn't think of anything. <laughs> But anyways, that's not the yeah, point. Yeah, he he, he 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 hides himself really well, but yeah, um, but like um, you know, yeah, Xanar is the obvious evil, but the thing is, like in universe, the you don't, he did he didn't Terra didn't know that. And he, he does he does make it pretty believable because like uh, when you when someone says like oh your friends go, are gonna get killed if you don't do anything, you're not gonna just stand there. Yeah, it's like it's like why um like Van went off. Yeah. <laughs> But do you think I take the word of Haley Joel Osment over the word of Jesse McCartney? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> like, but yeah, but Tara, I, I can understand where Tara, like, he was just, maybe he was just being led around by the note. Like, Xehanort was, like, the puppet master pulling the strings, and unfortunately, those strings were really strong. He he played played with his emotions, and it played messed everything up. Like especially, it was especially evident when we did when Radiant Garden and after the fight with Zing, with Greg. Yeah. Like the fact that he got like he actually managed to get that darkness to really show. Why did one of those earrings look like one of the earrings that Cloud was wearing? Uh, which one? I don't know. <laughs> one of them just looked like an earring that Cloud was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> the sol that, that's probably what the soldier earring is. Oh, so we got uh just made uh two. Uh, oh, I also got this. Um, where is it? Oh no, it was uh, Goofy's, I think. Yeah, it was Goofy's, it was Shields. Yeah, um, but, uh, yeah. But, like, yeah, I... That looks familiar. Terra, yeah. Oh, you, oh, you made both of them, nice. Yeah. Um, me and Terra's been, but Terra, sorry, is, uh, hmm. like, I, like, I never would have expected it from his perspective, honestly. Yeah, I think it's fair enough. Yeah, I'll probably have to, i find it and give it a watch. Xanor yeah. is just that good of a manipulator. He's, uh, he, he's quite, he's quite, he, everything's been going to his plan. Just it's like, like a really long game of chess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because even then it's like, um, like going to Kingdom Hearts 1 for aim for a moment. It's like people are like, oh, but like, oh, the entire thing we did was pointless. No, it's Ansem the Seeker of Darkness, as he said. I I don't yeah people take things out of context too much in this series. It's still need to be stopped because like one way or another it's like your Xehanort wins by Ansem doing what he needs to do. Or Xemnas doing. It's basically what we're doing. Okay. What we're doing is basically dwindling Xehanort's options one by one. Right. Yeah, but if Kingdom Hearts That's three is gonna be the huge Sora, it'll be kind of one of his fourteen darknesses. Oh goodness. Yeah. But if Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be the way it is, from judging from the trailers, is that Sora's going to try and save everyone, then... That's what the series has been building up to. <laughs> you really, that the fact that Vanitas is back, because yeah. it's like, what is that? Like, that... Yeah, I... Yeah. That needs hmm. to be complete, because he can't just stay sheltered inside Sora but, forever. Yeah, at this point, his heart's still shattered. Uh, well, it, for, for what I understand, like, when you see, like, the end of Dream Drop and all that, it, it's clear that his heart's, um, 
repaired a lot because like with the way he like summoned uh, his armor to protect oh, protect Sora from the darkness for a, for a while, and like how strong the armor is when you fight Riku when it fights Riku. Yeah. So fine, so he, he's got he's coming cool. back. Yeah, slowly but surely he's coming back. But that that break, that actually may explain why he will he, if he ever time he will the fact that Benitez is back if he ever I've ever time trial in travel thing by a Xehanort, or that's the proof that his heart was back. It, I think it's the the uh, latter. And there's no bloody way they're gonna get Terra back in one piece. Terra's gonna be a mess. Like, how are you supposed to bring him back? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like separating Xehanort from Terra and Terra is gonna be one thing. It's like, still unclear of what his situation is, because well, like, uh, I was kind of thinking about that, but maybe it's like, if you did separate them, maybe it's like Terra and Xehanort would be the Benitez to Terra. It's weird because uh, you went when Actually, they. I'm going to bring up a theory here that I saw a long, long time ago. I okay. remember okay. the secret ending. I don't know which game it was. I think it was two or end of birth by sleep. Oh, end of birth, I think it was one of those. When um Kara and Xehanort were having like a conversation inside his body and that's Kara, oh, yeah. that um, was Kara, the secret episode of Birth by Sleep. Yeah. Terra 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 states like something along the lines is that he's probably not he's not giving up. He's still right. fighting, but I think he's like he's dwindling throughout the years. And then him getting like and then Xehanort like basically offing himself to produce Ansem and Zenith, it's like now he's like split off into more pieces. But yeah. if, uh, you, if you hmm. if you look at Zemnis and how he talks to Sora, and you can see like sometimes he looks a little like sad at some points. Like a little bit sad at some point. I think that's Terra trying to reach out. Oh, Zemnis? To, 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 yeah, Zemnis sort of looks kind of sad sometimes yeah. when he talks to Sora. Especially near the end of the game where he's just like like he has to do this, otherwise, like, whatever. I, I kind of feel like, yeah, I kind of feel like there's a bit of terror left inside of him, because, like, yeah. when, when he's still trying to uh, talk to uh, Akra and find Van. Yeah, like, it's two final mix. Like, the, that, that very long walk down cutscene. <laughs> they should have cut that short, seriously. Yeah, oh, like, no, that, stairs! Yeah, but the, the fact that he's, like, refer... He, it's unsure if he's just mockingly referring to the Aqua, to Aqua's armor or if it's, it's actually Terra. It's probably both. Like, the side of Xeno is probably, like, mocking it, and Terra himself is inside, like, actually being genuine. It's probably both. Yeah, but, yeah, but then, yeah. then you have, uh... I also like how in Dream Drop Distance, when everyone knows Xehanort is like really evil, evil at that point, and yes, he still tries to act innocent. It's like, oh no, I just uh, made your friends go to their like destined places. It was not my fault. <laughs> huh? Just being a douchebag. Pretty much. But um, yeah, I still think like it's either you're gonna get. Aqua first, or you're gonna get Ven first, but since Vanidus is probably gonna be hot and throw his tail. Hold on. Mm. I, uh, I was gonna say, like, um, at this point, it feels like the easiest to get, because we know how to get to them, is Aqua. Uh, yeah, that's interesting, because, um, like, Riku and Mickey are going to the Realm of Darkness. He knows how to get to her. I think, it, yeah, I think it's gonna go Aqua, then Terra. I don't know. Don't ask me about Roxas or all those, though. <laughs> you heard us, right? Um, I was saying that like um, the easiest, if a, a probably the easiest of the three to get back is gonna be Aqua because Nikki at least knows how to get to her. In fear, well, they he has a better idea. Like she could be anywhere in the realm of darkness, but. Yeah, but like. Anyway, as I was saying, because this is probably going to be hot on Sora's tail throughout three. Do you yeah. Try and fix yourself. You're going to have to save Ben first. But like, because yeah. something's going to happen. Like, so I f I feel like uh, um. Sora's going to be the actual one to save Akra, and uh, Riku and Mickey are just going to get 
uh, to a certain point and then just something happens so they they, they can't finish the job or something like that. Because, like, you see the opening in um, 0.2, like, Sora reaches his hand out to save Aqua, so, like, you know. We should probably get out of here. <laughs> What is the other me? I still, I still don't know. I love, I love, I watched a video of the, uh, of a reaction, and the guy was just like, I love how Kid Wars is like the only series where someone can just casually say that. <laughs> I found you, Baker. Is it like? Baker. It is. It's true. <laughs> is that wrong? I thought that capsule we were in exploded. I think the error me I die hard. I'm David Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about all this? Like Jason Griffin. What, what do you think about all this nonsense, Lewis? <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> it's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it gets conversations yeah. going. That's why hey, I... Funny, th funny thing. Um, I was, um... I was talking to my friend about, like, how Leonard Nimoy voices Xanor, right? Yeah. And what I did was, uh, I just, because, like, I said, like, you're probably, gonna, he's like, I told him if he wants to, he has to, like, start from the beginning if he wants to get in the Kingdom Hearts, because otherwise he'd be completely confused. Because yeah. right after that, the first thing I showed him was this, the, the Keyblade graveyard scene where Xanor was explaining what the Keyblades, how the Keyblade War was and all that. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm totally confused. Oh my goodness! Okay, I, I think I think with that kind of, uh, uh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I think with that kind of thing, it just it, like the only way you can actually explain it is playing the games itself. It's yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts series is like it's a series where you play the games first, and then you try to like analyze it and like actually make kind of make of sense of it. All. Yeah, you you're not you're not gonna uh, get it by just watching random cutscenes. Oh, you're gonna give it one more go. Yeah, I had Decisive Pumpkin and a lot more health, so we might as well. Alright. Uh, we don't- I don't think we can really do much else. We can't really do much help. else today anyway, so, you know. You might just stop the discussion for now, just so you can focus. Uh, you guys can keep talking, I don't mind. It keeps uh, the <laughs> LP guys interested, but I'm probably not gonna talk much. Right. Fair enough. I will say this, though, um, before I get into, uh, L uh focus mode. Um, I actually- I think Dream Drop Distance is one of the best stories in the series because it has um, a lot of interesting plot points, and I think I think it's uh, one of the most engaging stories. Um, like, I, I I care about what's going on with the characters, and there's a lot of good character growth. Yeah, fair, 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 I see more of the other way to build the tunnels together. Like, they start there, like, going through the line now. No, no, it's not like that at all. I don't know how you do it. I mean, like, Dream Drop Distance itself is, you can find a time traveling to process the island, that's why you're young, so I'm reboot. Well, um, but regardless, I don't think it's going to have any, like, main series, but, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't think you can find a really important thing, but, like, you're going to have to be wise in some way. It's just, it's just, like, depending on what I'm saying, we're doing this whole day. It's probably going to be completely dropped up, to be honest, right? If I'm not just... Like, how often we have, like, like, in my way, I'm happy to just... Uh, that's probably the other problem, so I don't think I'm really going to do that. I don't think I'm 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 going to do that. The only thing, like, the video is, like, uh, yeah, Xenos kind of just using me, I should probably do something else. I don't know. Wait, stop, or something, I don't know. Let me go down on the side. Suffer! Uh, yeah, I, 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 I,
took them and left. Oh, we don't necessarily kill them. Yeah. Look at them. They're so adorable. Yeah, they have hot rods. That's good. That's good. There's another one. Should be. I'm sorry. So we're going to be done. Yeah. Uh, when, when we when we get to like run for those guys if we have to, I'm just gonna look up how, uh, the way to like, like just cheese it because I, I know there's a way to cheese it so you can just uh, that you're, you're guaranteed to make them show up. Yeah, they're on a cycle. It's like there's a sequence of events you have to do. Hey, buddy, buddy. Um, we talked about this earlier, but like how they got into the palace in Kikora. They're trying to climb that big pillar on the right there. But the thing is, there's no clip. Yeah, it's like playing Breath of the Wild. Like yeah, like like they're on the wrap around it. They're just trying to climb against rocks. Yeah. I think it's just because of the limitations of the PS2 at the time. I just kind of wish they did some striking in the movie, what they did was, um... It was like, they actually had, like, the, the zombies, I think, before the photos. Yeah, that's how they did it, the... Uh, enjoy the game, as I said, avoid limitations of the system. That's probably why, that's why I don't do this. Yeah. I don't think the Coliseum doesn't have, like, actual people in it. Yeah. That's why you have to do it, because you have flaws, too. It's just like, thank you, thank you. I thought it was originally supposed to be for the PS2, but I, I don't know why they switched consoles, but it's probably, it was probably easier to develop for it, like, all quicker. I don't know. And also because, um, this video is being made the exact same time. Okay. When did the save fall? Oh, I don't actually remember, but the other thing I remember is that they were going to have the people who were going to walk with all kinds of AP DRs, people who were going to watch with them, which is very important, really important, because they're going to have everything. Are you living like pass? I wish I just... Yes, but, but they decided to not do that and put it in the city of Oaks, yes. Mm. So it would be a good thing. It would be a waste of character for the right. show. So we're not worried about the city of Oaks. Yeah, but they put it in anyway. I'm glad that they did. Whoa, it's actually really funny. Whoa, it's really funny. Yeah, I can't get touched. And the problem we have left was that we're driving right now, and the fact that our damage wasn't high enough to get rid of someone. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh man. Can I reflect that? Can I reflect like right after that? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll give it one more try. I'm just curious because I, I wonder if it will like cancel out him like them like jumping on me. No. 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 Uh, I'm very curious about the right you know, stuff about Tokyo. Um, is there an explanation like more explanation for Ainsor? I'm going to assume it's because he turned into a hotless. Uh, it's probably like, uh, it's one of these things where, like, oh, I can't even pick up HP, I'll just, wow. Oh, yeah, more reasons. Well, that's one first time. You learned that. I'm still not waiting on it. Yeah. Oh! Okay. 
We'll get a grab ability regardless. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going straight to bed after this. It was just when everyone was around. I, don't know. I, it, I didn't even know you guys were in a call until like a little bit later, to be honest. No, we literally just started and then you came in. Yeah, well, I was like, yeah, Jason was just like, oh, we're going to record today, so we as well. Quick run level two. I mean, that's good, but it's not what we wanted. Wait, she has to go? Yeah, bye. 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 Hey, what? Oh boy. He's a character in this game, and he has like one hand is like normal, the other one is like a big fucking glove. It's like a. It's like a beat or something. Simba. Golden Saws, maybe. Simba. I miss Harry's man, I miss Harry's man, I miss Harry's man, I miss Harry's man. I see. I'm gonna come down the whole class if no one's more combat. It's like why I was so good with Scorpion and Dirty Justice. Right. Can you take your voice special when we done? Uh, all that? Just quickly? Yeah. Perfect. Did we get another road drive, by the way? No, we got a slide with um, dash level 2 or whatever. Um, I'm gonna be, be working for in, in, like tomorrow and um, the day after for the, for the morning shift again. Yeah. Then Monday, then morning shift, and then uh. I'll be free Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday is the last week. So I'm not, I'm not working until on Monday again. I could have had it though. That sucks. Did you hit 94 or 84? No, I just, I, I, I got the 83, but I got bonked. Bonked? Can I go for it again? No, I'll give it one more shot. I don't have time to keep doing this. Alright. I'm debating in like this only character in this game. Like, it's a pretty big lineup actually. How many characters are already playing DLC, right? No. Oh, the kitty. <laughs> you just show me a cat in my child, so I just, like, breaks out. 38 characters. You can't go eight by counting all eight times as one character. Go tell me tell us one character. Kind of the one slot grabber. Right. That's about, um, Brawl's Roscoe. If a bit more. Yeah, for, for eight, like, 34, like, eight, all seven more, so. Eight. Ten, eight, twenty-one. Yeah, how many times are in Brawl? Like, how many little transformations and all that? Um... I think the, what you see on the character select is 35, I would say. My trainer has 3, so... so that's 37. Is there a suit? 38. Uh, Sheik is 39. Uh, who else? That was terrible. Uh, I'm not sure. I need to look at the actual roster again. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, that was just horrible. <laughs> I can't call anybody else. No, I mean, I think it's like 39 to 40 characters. Hmm. These look pretty good. Oh yeah, for the time, that was like a crazy big roster. Ash War is like 58. 58. Kind of DLC. Kind of DLC needs to be characters, right? Is it? Yeah, because if the game counts them as separate characters, which it doesn't. No, not too. I, I mean, whatever. Well, it could be a white, like, that makes sense for the separate characters. Yeah. Yeah, I. Kind of wish they didn't. Uh, they weren't, like, three complete like, separate slots, though. I don't know. I mean, I I'm, not, I'm, I'm not too. I'm kind of meh for the me, so I don't care for them that much. Oh, no. They're fun to mess around with, but, like, it's actually, when you. It's actual fires, they're kind of just alright. No, it's even. They were really underwhelming when I actually got. Uh, when I actually got them. Yeah, I've been in an air over there, no, well, you know. It's one of these. It's one of these. It's like, and the novelty wore off me very quickly. Like, it's fun, I guess, to see like these stupid characters play in Smash. But uh, when you get past that novelty, it's just kind of they're just kind of mad characters. Just in terms of like fighting. Them. Okay, I, I don't hate that they're in the game. It's cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to like not get bonked. I hate my life. Oh, I love Dark Side in um this game. Just yeah, you know, he has to like his pose. I don't give a shit. Uh, he just like he didn't walk. He didn't move forward and back. All he has to do is walk behind his back. <laughs> and he only jumps. He's like, yeah, boy. Man. <laughs> I thought I had something. Never mind. I thought I had something else to say about the Mies, but I don't. Leonardo. He's the leader of Duke. Leonardo. 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 Um, what do you think of the series from what you've seen of gameplay, uh, Lois? Hmm? Kind of Lois, like, what you've seen. It looks pretty damn cool. 